Hi, I'm Claire, a librarian at Acton Memorial Library. And in this video, I'm going to share with you one of the amazing e-resources that we offer to Acton residents. So here I am at actonmemoriallibrary.org. <clears throat> and you can find our e-resources by going to the top of the web page and clicking on e-resources. And there is a wealth of incredible e-resources here. Um, you can find on our YouTube channel videos that detail a couple of the other ones like Overdrive and Hoopla and Canopy. Um, but you can also get the New York Times and Consumer Reports, lots of good stuff um, to explore. But what I'm going to focus on today is this incredible resource that we offer under the category of arts and crafts. And it's called Creative Bug. And as I mentioned, it's limited to act in residence. Now there's a lot of tutorials online, obviously, for all kinds of craft activities. But what's really nice about Creative Bug is um, it's very high quality consistently, and there's no ads, and there's a wide variety, and you can uh, curate your own collection in your account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on see the latest classes here. When you first go to Creative Bug, you're going to be prompted to create an account. Um, courtesy of the library uh, with your name first and last an email and a password that you select for this uh, site so I'm um, just going to show you a couple of ways to find great content on here let's start with classes there's different categories as you can see art and design sewing etc Within each of those categories, I'm going to just go to the first one, art and design, there are um, categories within that, subcategories. And we'll just go, to, and you can also select by for beginners, multi part, quick classes, and techniques, or you can see all of the classes on offer. But let's go ahead and check out what's available in painting. There's quite a few really interesting classes here and i'm just going to select one as an example doodle and paint an animal portrait that looks fun <clears throat> so there's the video ready to go if you if you want to start it um, if you watch some of it before as you can see here it will allow you to resume from where you left off you can see what the different chapters are in the video so that you could just repeat one of the chapters if you wanted. And you can find a list of the materials that you'll need. If you are interested in this class, but you're not ready to take it right now, you can add it to your watch list. Um, I'd like to show you just a moment of what the video looks like. I'm going to start it from the beginning. abstract as well as animals. In this class, we're going to be spending a lot of time actually looking at what we're drawing. We're going to be doing some blind contour. We're going to really dive into connecting to what you see and drawing that. And at the same time, we're going to play with, you know, it not being a perfect drawing. So we get to look at these two. All right. That does look fun. Um, you, when you put something on your watch list, then if you go to your account up here in the right, you can see recently watched, my watch list, my gallery, etc. So I'm going to go to my watch list. And there it is, along with other classes that I've saved, some of which I've actually taken some of the classes and some of which I just intend to. Um, so that's classes. Under inspiration, there's this neat part called calendar where you can see what's new um and what what's just been added and what will soon be added also under inspiration there's a pattern gallery or library rather which is just what it says um crochet patterns i think some sewing patterns and the likes so you can download those um and you can meet the instructors see who's appealing to you and who you might like to take classes from and you can click on those, of course, and learn more about them. 
and <clears throat> then there's daily practice and this is a really neat thing too if you want to have some um, support in kind of being disciplined about um, doing a little bit of art or craft every day then these are different daily practice series where and some of them are very short. I was doing a daily practice series before about drawing portraits and you could kind of spend as long as you wanted with it. Um, I mean, it took at least 15 minutes, but um, you could take longer as well. So that's the daily practice. I'll show you what that looks like. 31 creative prompts from modern and contemporary artists. Again, you can see the chapters and the materials and you can explore these other facets as well. So that is a little bit of what Creative Bug looks like. I'd encourage you to check it out if you like doing arts and crafts and check out all of our other great e-resources at Acton Memorial Library. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.